So you found that perfect piece of equipment that complements your playstyle and your character build, but it's missing that certain something. Maybe it's a weapon that you'd like to be more accurate, or a piece of armor that you'd like some additional damage resistance on. Well, gather around the workbench, because today we're talking about modifying equipment. Greetings Vault Dwellers and welcome to the Wasteland. This is your Overseer speaking, Three-Eyed Townie, and today we're going to be talking about modifying equipment for Fallout, the role-playing game by Modifius. This video is a continuation of a Learn to Play series that I'm putting together for the game. This is part two of equipment, and in previous videos we've covered a lot of the basics of the mechanics and the core system itself, so if you haven't checked those out yet, you might want to take a look. Mods can be applied to weapons, armor, certain pieces of clothing, and robots. Modifying a piece of equipment changes certain properties of the item, but there's a few things you need in order to do so. First, you need the mod itself and the item you want to install it on. Then, you need the right kind of tools, and in some situations, a certain kind of workbench. And lastly, there are typically character prerequisites, such as a certain rank in a particular attribute or perks. Once you have met these requirements, you're ready to mod an item. Your character will perform a difficulty 1 skill test using intelligence plus whatever skill is listed in the mod's description. It normally takes 1 hour to mod an item, but if you succeed, you can spend 2 action points to reduce the time in half. If you roll a complication, it increases the time it takes by a half hour per complication. On a failed test, the mod is not installed and you roll 1 combat die. If you roll an effect, the mod is damaged and cannot be used. Each item can only accept a certain number of mods. Armor can have two mods, one material and one utility. Not every type of clothing can be modded, but those that can only get one. Ranged weapons get a variety of mods, and it varies based on the weapon itself. However, you can only apply one mod of each type. Melee weapons can only have one mod, Robots get one mod per location, except the torso. The torso can have one armor mod and three internal mods. When you modify a piece of equipment, the name of the item will change accordingly, based on the type of mod that's been applied. For example, a gun that's been modded to have a stock may be then called a rifle. Some mods will cancel out the quality that the item currently has. For example, if you have a weapon that has an inaccurate quality, and you apply a mod that gives it the accurate quality, they cancel each other out and the weapon ends up having neither. The qualities do not stack with existing qualities, so if you're modding a weapon that already has the accurate quality, installing a mod that gives it the accurate quality is not going to make it more accurate. It's going to be just accurate. However, if you have a weapon that is inaccurate and you apply two separate mods giving it the accurate quality, the first mod would cancel out the inaccurate and the second mod would apply accurate. There is one exception to the rule about quality stacking, and that's piercing. For each mod that grants the piercing X quality, it adds plus one piercing to the item. Mods that alter the weapon's range increase or decrease the range by one step. No weapon can have a range longer than extreme or shorter than close. The application of mods to any item helps to boost your character's ability and hone in specialization to your playstyle. With the right mods, you can increase damage, add protection, put more distance between you and your enemy, or even carry more items. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope you found this breakdown helpful. As you probably already know, this video is a continuation in the Learn to Play series, and we have so much more to cover. If you don't want to miss when the next video is coming out, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell for notifications. You can find me and the rest of the Fallout 2D20 unofficial fan community everywhere on the internet. We're on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Reddit, and we have a very active Discord community as well. And I'll leave a link for all that in the description. And if you haven't already ordered Fallout the role-playing game by Modifius, you can do so directly from their online shop, and I'll leave a link for that in the description too. Thanks again for watching. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and of course, I'll see you in the wasteland.